the enchanting landscape of northeast india extremely rich biodiversity pristine nature virgin forests vibrant flora and fauna this geographical area is a genetic treasure house of plants animals and microbial resources this region falls under the world's top 10 biodiversity hotspots the region ecologically represented by the eastern himalayan biome is not a homogeneous entity but a highly diverse mosaic of ecological social landscapes and thus needs intensive analysis and attention to conservation this rich biodiversity of northeastern india is also reflected in the mesmerizing and vibrant culture of the region be it food dressing or dances blessings of nature are visible in enormous varieties of vegetables fruits herbs and fish with high nutrient value the famous king of chilies bhuj jalokia commonly known as naga chili belongs to this region only this region is endowed with wonderful water bodies like loktak lake near imphal the capital of manipur state the largest fresh water lake in northeastern india one of the remarkable feature of this lake is pumdi the floating vegetation these floating fumdis are sturdy enough to build thatched huts upon them thus providing great settlements for the local fishermen who depend on the lake for their livelihood and this floating plant being rich in nutrient also works as a productive organic biofertilizer realizing the importance of such rich biodiversity in the region the department of biotechnology ministry of science and technology government of india established institute of bio resources and sustainable development ibsd at imphal manipur in the year 2001 It is an institute par excellence and is amongst the very few such institutes across the globe. The beautiful and serene campus of IBSD is a visual appeal to I. The bioresource theme park at IBSD depicts a glimpse of diversity found in the northeastern region of India. Since its inception the institute is tirelessly working towards conservation and sustainable utilization of bioresources for the socio-economic development of the region The division of microbial resources has massive collection of microbial species found across the country Microbial repository has 25000 species and here extensive research works are being undertaken This is the only microbial repository center available in the whole northeast india Another section of this division has also a repository of about 3000 algae samples found in our country 
The state-of-the-art facility and equipment ensure the proper conservation of these valuable samples. Animal Resources Division has numerous insects and other similar species of northeastern region. Here, a unique research on edible insects and its utilization is being undertaken currently. The institute works on a varieties of fish endemic to the region. The Plant Bioresource Division has identified various herbs and medicinal plants of the region beneficial for the mankind. It has a repository of 76 species of ginger within the region. We had a collection of about 76 species of ginger for the whole northeastern region. Team of scientists is also working towards conservation and sustainable economic development of orchid and siroi lily. Being a premier research institute, IBSD has ensured that there is enough reference material for the research scholars and scientists. Director of IBSD, Professor Deena Bandhu Sahu, ensures that the research work being undertaken at IBSD should benefit the welfare of the people in the region. His unflinching determination and experienced guidance has been a source of inspiration for the entire community of scientists and researchers within the campus. Regular meetings are organized, new suggestions and ideas are encouraged for the sustainable development in the region. The Institute has witnessed many remarkable achievements under the dynamic and able leadership of Professor Deena Bandhu Sahu, a professor from University of Delhi. Quite a bunch of Kaitel Buhena, Lunanba, Kaitelama, Ohenaba, Akanaba, Patapa Mapotok Lagani Haina, Fakir Deleva, Institute of Bioresource and Sustainable Development, ISBD Director, Professor Dinabon Tusahuna, Fungorakli, Hiram's the report Ama. Chief Minister Okram Ivobi opens Theme Resources Park at IBSD, Takil, inaugurates First National Bioresources and Sustainable Development Summit. Dr. Harshvardhan. Union Minister for Science and Technology and Earth Sciences was the first Union Minister to visit IBSD during February 2015. And I think this institute itself is an example of the feelings of the people in Manipur. The objectives that it dreams to fulfill, they appear big and laudable and I am sure that you have a very good director, a very dynamic and a visionary director and I am sure that if he has seen a dream of converting this place into one of the finest institutions of the whole world, I see great prospects for this institute. IBSD took the initiative and organized the first Bioresources and Sustainable Development Summit at Imphal, where a large number of delegates participated. It also took initiative to protect the state animal Sangai, where a large number of specialists deliberated to devise the strategy for Sangai management. We should have to be work to achieve jointly what we were. Dr. Sahu's dream, we should have to try, we should have to be coordinate, we should have to be helped to fulfill his dream. I told him, no need of seeking appointment, we should have to work together to develop of this national right institution here. Uh, 
I BSD is playing a key role in uh, initiating employment generation, particularly for the unemployed, educated young people. The director, Dr. Sahu, he is an amazing man. He tirelessly, you know, uh, travel uh, the entire hill areas and the entire village uh, areas uh, to explore the things. He has been taking up a lot of uh, uh, new initiatives like uh, uh, conference and then uh, local awareness and lots of things. So I think he's, uh, I mean, he's good for our uh, India as well, particularly Manipur. Since uh, the joining of a new director, Dr. Sahu, the, he has been um, working to bring this institute in the forefront. Cherry Blossom is certainly a rare occasion in India. But in Japan, it is a part of Japanese culture known as Sakura and considered a symbol of peace, love, tranquility and prosperity. In order to promote the ecotourism in the region, Professor Sahu launched India's first Cherry Blossom Festival initiative at Shillong, which was launched by Dr. Mukul Sangma, Honorable Chief Minister of Meghalaya. The cherry blossoms were also planted at Japanese War Memorial, located in Manipur. The initiative was much appreciated and in turn created an international impact. Members of Gifu Cherry Blossom Association from Japan collaborated with IBSD and launched Sakura Plantation Ceremony in New Delhi on 11th of February 2016 to strengthen Indo-Japanese friendship, which was a historic event. Professor Sahu is now working with the locals of Mao to create an exotic cherry blossom in the region with an aim of promoting tourism, thereby helping in economic development of the region. This unique bioresources has never been propagated in different parts of the Northeast. IBSD is the first institute in the country which is trying to propagate this unique bioresources in different parts of the country. Apart from these achievements, IBSD also has the honor to host the first Himalayan conclave at Delhi to find solutions for conservation of Himalayas and its magnificent biodiversity. At PhD Chamber of Commerce, Professor Sahu delivered a power-packed presentation to educate audience how general people could be benefited from the commercialization of researches undertaken by IBSD. IBSD is also gearing up for the needs and requirements of the future. Setting above an orchidarium is in pipeline at National Bioresource Park within the campus. Plantation of different varieties of aromatic plants is also planned keeping in view the huge potential in this area. Bamboo is found in abundance within entire northeastern region. Despite being a part of culture and biodiversity, it had very limited usage until IBSD unleashed the real scope it has to offer. IBSD campus is an epitome of sustainable development using bamboos abundantly for interiors and exteriors. Gates and recreational areas are creatively created from bamboo. Bamboo dustbins leave visitor guessing and give them a wow feeling. All the interior furniture placed at IBSD guesthouse are artfully crafted by using bamboo reeds. This eco-friendly initiative of IBSD is not only eco-friendly but also opens up a horizon for experimentation. Dinabandu Sahu has joined as the director of IBSD. He has taken up several steps 
I mean he is trying to set up a, 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 a an orchidorium that will provide the facilities for uh, commercial as well as uh, uh, some kind of a scientific research. We are trying in our own way uh, to bring little changes. The most important thing is if we can empower the people in this region through the use of bioresources that can bring a lot of changes in this region, that can create wonders in this region. Within a span of one and a half decades of its establishment, IBSD has written many success stories but it is just a beginning of a long journey in the direction of conserving unique biodiversity of this region and assuring a sustainable future for the coming generation. Yeah!